These are both elevated vacuum suction sockets, meaning they use air and vacuum seal suction in order to hold your limb into the prosthetic leg. They each have their pros and cons, so let's talk about it so that you can make an informed decision on which one would be best for you. If we haven't met yet, my name is Carrie and I have been an amputee below the knee for almost four years now. And we're gonna compare these sockets because I didn't know anything about them until I have had to use both. And this is a test socket, that's why it looks like this, but we're gonna go over all the design aspects of it in just a minute. Both of these systems, and I think all prosthesis, use a liner to put on your skin before you put on your prosthetic leg. And supposedly they're both waterproof, but I did not have great luck with this one, which I'll get into in a minute. They are both not pinlock, which I love. The end of my limb is too sensitive for a pin. Whenever my limb touches that pin at the end of the socket, it bends and twists and digs into my bone, and I am not a candidate for pinlock. And both of these systems do not use pinlock, which is a huge pro for me. And both of them are very comfortable whenever the socket is a good fit. I did not find that one was more comfortable than the other in its prime. That is something that I love about both of these sockets is that they allow for a very sensitive nub. So before we get into it, if you are an experienced amputee and you have any pros and cons of your socket system of one of these that I have missed, please put it in the comments so that any new amputees watching this video can make a very informed decision on which socket system they're going to get if they're going between these two. Okay, we are going to start out with range of motion because that is one of the biggest areas that I would wanna know about when choosing a socket system is how well am I going to be able to walk in this thing. So first up, we're gonna do the ring system. Basically, that is a liner with these rings that go at the bottom. And these rings touch the sides of your socket and that is what holds the suction. If you do not have suction, your leg falls off. Mine is actually way too big, so I have to pile on a bunch of socks before I can even put it on, which is why I got this one. Okay, so for range of motion, pretend you don't have all of these socks. There is only a liner back here, which is not a big deal. You have a big range of motion. Even with the socks, I have a big range of motion. I can go past a 90 degree angle. But this can be a con of the sleeve system because you don't have a lot of bend with this tight sleeve on top of your knee. And there's a whole bunch bunching up back here as well. And a pro for both of them is the ease of use. This one has a quick on and off valve. This is a one-way valve. Whenever it is closed, it does not let air in. That's how it keeps the socket on. If you can't let air in, you cannot pull your leg out. However, if I open up that valve and I allow air in, then it just comes right out. The suspension sleeve doesn't have any sort of ring system. It is a liner only and a sock if you need it. You simply just put your leg in, roll up the suspension sleeve until it hits your skin up here. And it's just that easy. Both socket systems use socks, which is a huge pain in the butt, but it is necessary for keeping below the knee amputee limbs safe and comfortable. Here is a huge con of this ring system vacuum suction socket. If you pile on too many socks, you cannot get suction. I have had my socks all the way up here and then my rings cannot actually touch the sides of my socket, meaning I cannot get comfortable. The rings are what hold me up and keep me from sinking further down. If the rings do not make contact with the sides of my socket, my socks just slide me all the way down until I hit and I am walking on the end of my limb. You do not wanna do that. It is incredibly painful. So this system definitely has its limitations by how many socks you can pile on before you cannot wear it safely anymore. And you really can't wear it at all because it is so painful, which is why I am actually in the process of getting a new suspension sleeve socket. But because there are no rings down here, you can pile on as many socks as you want and you can still get suction because this isn't the part that gets suction down here. It's this sleeve right here. And as long as it goes all the way up over and touches your skin, you will get suction. So this one will definitely have a limit to how small your limb can go before you need a new prosthesis. However, even though it will probably not be safe, you can pile on quite a lot of socks and still get suction in this type of socket. But I have a little hack for the valve system. It is the Ethnocare Air Bladder Sleeve. It basically takes the place of socks between three ply and 15 ply, I believe. The idea is that if you wear ply inside that range, you should only have to wear this air bladder sleeve. Basically, all you have to do, you just pump it up to however many socks you need, and these little air bladders fill up with air. 
I need quite a lot, so I'm gonna pump it up to the max. And then you can very simply just slide your leg in and you can adjust the socks just with this air pump or this valve to let out the air. Listen, see? So if I'm driving or if I'm sitting, I can simply let the air out and get relief from all of that tight socket. Because for whatever reason, whenever I sit down, my limb swells and it cuts off circulation. Normally, I would have to take off my leg while I'm driving or having dinner with my family. But this way, I can just push the relief valve and before I stand back up, I can just pump it back up. However, this does not work with this. With the suspension sleeve socket, if I was to try to put this on, I am not actually able to use this because once I get the ply that I want and I have the air pumped up, then I put the sleeve on and it covers all of this system right here. I still am somewhat able to use it, but I don't wanna poke a hole in my sleeve and I wanna be careful of anything that makes big spots in my sleeve that could possibly poke a hole. That's the last thing I wanna do. So while you can use it, yes, it's probably not a good idea for long-term use. Okay, and here is one that I thought was a con until I got this one. And that is when you're walking, if I rub up against something and I'm walking, I'm walking, this valve can be bumped open and I lose suction and mid stride, that can be a little bit scary, but really and truly all you have to do is stop, close the valve back up and you have suction again. However, on the flip side, if this sleeve gets a hole in it, you cannot get suction, period, end of story. It is the only way that you get suction. So the only way to get suction with this leg is to buy a new sleeve if you get a hole in it. And that can cost a lot of time and a lot of money. Whereas with this one, you just close the valve back up. So if you decide to get this type of system, I would recommend getting two sleeves minimum from your prosthetist. Because my limb is completely straight now, it's not bulbous at the end, but this goes for if you have a bulbous end as well. Once you add rings down here, it is so thick at the bottom that you can't get it past the top of your socket in order to accommodate the end. And if you do get it big enough at the top, then you have to pile on so many socks in order to hold you up because now you have all of this void at the top because your limb is shaped kind of like a teardrop. It has to be big enough at the top to accommodate that big end, but then once you get it in your socket, you have all this room at the top that you have to make up for. But that's literally what this socket is made for. If you have a very straight limb, you have a very straight socket. There is no wide at the top, wide at the bottom situation going on. You just simply put it on and you roll the liner up. There is no crazy fit or accommodation with extra components in this type of socket it can be fit directly to your leg. However, if you do have a bulbous leg at the end, you will have to wear socks at the top in order to accommodate that, which is not the end of the world. Everybody has to wear socks. It is what it is. However, you probably cannot wear rings with a short limb. I don't know that to be certain. So if you have a short limb and you use rings or you have heard otherwise from your prosthetist, please leave it in the comments below so that we can all learn. But I have seen a lot of amputees with short limbs with the sleeve system. A huge con of the suspension sleeve system that I did not realize was a thing until I took it home was that it is incredibly painful. Right there at that skin line, it can cause serious irritation. So some of the recommendations are to use a barrier cream. I haven't done that yet. Some of them are to roll the top and leave the top down while you roll the suspension sleeve over it. I tried that and it wasn't as bad, but it did still leave that line of irritation. The best thing that I have found is a piece of cloth. This is just an ace bandage that I cut. I wrap it around my leg and then I roll my liner up onto it. That way, wherever my liner ends, it will not be touching my skin. And that has worked fairly well. I just roll my suspension sleeve up over all of that make sure that it comes completely in contact with my skin at the top in order to hold the suction and I have no more irritation. That was something that was very new to me and it took me by surprise. However, with the ring system, I have never been uncomfortable at the top. I have never had a line. I have never had any adverse effects on my skin at the top where my liner meets my skin. The valve on this one can be quite noisy if you get this wet and it does not dry completely. However, I don't know about this socket system yet because I have not gotten it wet. 
whenever I have taken this like swimming in the river or in the pool, it has been a nightmare to clean out and it's always super noisy for the next couple of days because of the water getting in this valve. It takes quite a lot of work to clean it out and I haven't really been able to get it waterproof thus far. I always get my components inside wet and I have this two hour long cleanup day. I'll tag that video right here of the entire process because it's a lot. But I am promised that this one is waterproof with this sleeve. I also used a sleeve like this on this one. I don't know if the water was coming in through the valve. I have no idea, but I was promised that this one is waterproof. However, I have not taken it to a river or a pool to find out if it is yet because this is a test socket and I've only had it one week. So if you have a suspension sleeve and you have gotten it wet, please let us know in the comments so that any future amputees watching this video, they can make an informed decision since I don't have that answer right now. And both of them seem to have the same heat structure. One is not hotter than the other. However, in this one, you can roll the top down and kind of get away from that heat a little bit without losing suction in the ring system. This one, it is what it is with the heat. You cannot roll down the top because if you do, you will lose your suction. That's where your suction is. So you can't really get away from the heat aspect of it. And I haven't gone through a summer with it yet. So please let me know in the comments if you have so that we can make an informed decision. And the last thing that we're gonna talk about is the design. You can literally put anything you want on your prosthetic leg. It can be solid carbon fiber, like mine is, mine is painted skin color. It can be black carbon fiber. It can be any color carbon fiber. You can also put any material on there. So if you go to the fabric store and you find a beautiful material that you love, slap it on your leg because all they do is they put resin on top of it to keep that design. Same with putting family photos or a drawing that your kid made. You can print those onto a piece of fabric. They put it on your leg, no problem. And you can see it with this ring system and this valve system, you can see the entire leg. However, on this type of leg, this is all that is showing. I personally find that a pro. I like this design better because with this socket system, as you saw before, you have all of that liner and socks that is exposed. I don't like that. I've always wanted to try to find a sock, a black solid sock that covers that anyway. So I really prefer this look where it is solid from the top to the bottom because I'm going to get a solid black leg. So it's going to look very clean and cohesive. I absolutely love this community and how we help each other out to make the best decisions that we possibly can for our bodies. People have all kinds of opinions about what is right and what is wrong, but it comes down to the limb that you have and the needs that you have for that specialized limb. It is meat, it is alive, it changes. You have to be able to accommodate that the best way that you and your prosthetist can. If you found value in this video, please like it, please share it, please interact with it, leave a comment so that it can get out to other people who might need this information. Thank you so much for being here. Thank you members for all of your support and I will see you on the next video.